Hey there everyone, Destek here. And today we will talk some performance number of AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X which cost 1000 US dollars and compare it with Intel offering on the same price, the i9-7900X. First of all, some basic overview of the two. 1950X offers 16 core and 32 threads whereas Intel offers 10 cores and 20 threads. The Threadripper has 64 PCI lanes with base clock of 3.4 GHz and boost of 4 GHz. In the blue team, 7900X has 44 PCI lanes with 3.3 GHz base and 4.3 GHz boost. This gives a rough idea that Intel is quite lagging behind in terms of core count and PCI lanes but has an upper hand with clock speeds. Now Threadripper has a whole new platform, X399. AMD suggested configuration gives 48 lanes from the CPU to PCI slots for 4-way SLI or CFX action. 12 lanes from the CPU to M.2 slots for 3-way X4 NVMe and 4 lanes to the chipset. The chipset then would have 2 gigabit Ethernet ports, a PCI by 4 slot, a PCI by 1 slot, a PCI by 1 for Wi-Fi, SATA ports, USB 3.1 Gen 1, USB 3.1 Gen 2 and USB 2.0 ports. The size of the processor is huge and I mean fanatically huge. For the benchmarks, I have also thrown in the 1920X which has 3.5 GHz base and 4 GHz boost with 12 core and 24 threads and Intel's 7700K and 6950X. For test system, 1950X and 1920X is placed on Asus ROG Zenith Extreme with 32GB of quad-channel G-scale RGB running at 3200MHz with 512GB Samsung 960 Pro M.2 PCI 3.0 SSD. Those cores are kept cool by thermal take Blow ring RGB 360mm liquid cooler and powering the whole system is Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11. In Intel X299 platform, the i9-7900X is paired with Asus ROG Strix X299 Gaming E. 32GB of quad-channel crosshair vengeance RGB DDR4 running at 3200MHz. Cooler Master, Master Liquid Pro 280mm is cooling that chip. The storage and power supply is same as Threadripper system. So first there are synthetic benchmarks and then gaming benchmarks. The gaming benchmarks are done on 1080p resolution to make gameplay more CPU bound. On higher resolutions, the game bounds to GPU which doesn't give accurate CPU performance. On higher resolution, the gap will surely decrease in gameplays. So results speaks for themselves. Synthetic benchmarks are using all those cores and topping the charts whereas the gaming benchmarks lag behind due to low clock speeds than Intel. And today games are not optimized for higher cores but the story will change surely. Till then, the higher clock speeds will remain the king in gaming. So compelling in the overall third type of package that these small differences in gaming performance matter little. If you are an enthusiast who just wants the best components without feeling like you are being taken for a ride. Threadripper provides all the PCI lanes, I.O. and benchmark crushing performance you could ever want. At a price under half what the competition is charging, indeed for the same price as a single core i9-7980XE, you can buy a 1950X Threadripper CPU, a monster motherboard, graphic card, RAM and NVMe storage. These chips are not meant for gaming only purpose. Heavy multitask, rendering, streaming, all at the same time is what that chip is made for. If you work in that kind of way, these chips are for you. Now Intel has to find a new way for coming up in the market and after all these years, CPU market has shaken a little bit and that's good for consumers also. A healthy competition is always good. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any query or suggestion, please comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already for more future content like this. Thank you.